Hey everyone, I'm Agonix here and welcome back to a brand new Halo 5 Forge creation review here on the channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing the flyable pelican with 8 seats. Well, actually it's called the Troop Transport Pelican with 8 passenger seats. But yeah, it's also a flyable pelican with 8 seats, basically. So that's what it is. So unlike the other flyable pelican in which I've showed on this channel before. This one actually has eight passenger seats in it. And yeah, so this is obviously pretty easy to do, honestly. All you need to do is like get a bunch of mongooses, as you can see here, here are the wheels of the mongoose. I've even done a tutorial before on my channel of it. So if you want to check that out, then be sure to, I'll leave a description down below and even a card. So yeah, if you want to even click on that, then there's that. It's actually pretty easy to do. All you need to do is get mongooses and phase them into the pelican. And then you got some passenger seats, which are nice to have. Oops, accidentally put in drive. You want to make sure that you just ride on it. So there we go, like this. The one annoying thing, of course, though, is that you can't really see yourself because of all this, um, yeah, garbage with the pelican here. So obviously it's not like the best, but yeah, it's what can be done. But we could even try, like, um, sorting out the camera zoom on this. Oops, I accidentally into prefabs. The camera distance is mixed. Um, you know what, we'll just leave it like that, because we probably don't want to stuff around with anything. So yeah, anyways, um, let's actually take a look at, like, the rest of this pelican right now before we drive it. So, one thing I've noticed is that a few things have been added onto it. For example, up the front here, and also there's something here as well, and on the other side. Yeah. Anyways, how about now we fly it? Oh, we're going to have to go inside to fly it, actually. Unlike all these other creations, we actually have to go inside to fly this one. You know what? I actually have respect for that. The fact that you actually have to go inside the pelican to fly it is really cool. And also, I never actually thought of that either, because, you see, how I've always done it, right? Oh, wait a second. I know what this is now. This is a part of the Banshee. That's right. Okay, so it's only this thing and this thing, then, that have been added onto the Pelican. So that's alright, then, I guess. But, um, yeah. And also, I think I know why they've been added now, too. They've been added to hide the mongooses. That's why they've been added. So yeah, so these uh, cylinders here are obviously just here to hide the mongooses, and they're also a sort of design purpose as well onto the pelican, yeah. So basically that's their purpose. And then this right here, <laughs> I didn't realise that this was part of the Banshee. Like obviously I knew that these wings here were part of the Banshee, but I didn't know this was. So now that we've got all the context for this stuff out of the way, I think we now understand uh, the little added on bits to this creation. So how about now we actually uh, get into flying it and then I want to talk more about it in just a bit. So let's do that. And here we go. And it's actually pretty smooth with the flying. In fact, a lot of creations I do review um, in them, there's not really good flying. So yeah, this one has, oh, it's starting to get a little bit rough now. Yeah, I mean, this is normal with a lot of creations for the flying to be a little bit rough or shaky or just annoying in general. Because uh, it's not guaranteed that it's ever going to work. And I mean, yeah. So I'm guessing because of the eight seats that are put into this pelican, you probably would be able to drive with others in this pelican, I guess. Maybe. I don't know if, like, if you were to hop on the mongoose seats or anything right if like you would have then just be flung out of it because i hop in the pelican and start driving it i mean i don't know what exactly goes on whoop but it would be interesting to see how it all play out in fact i wish i had people to play with right now so then i could just test and see if the passenger seats really actually work but one thing i did want to say before was why i think it's really good how the person who made this creation actually i'm gonna have to check their name let's check their name so then i can just refer to them as their creator name if it's easy enough that is um zedwick all right so we'll just call him zedwick then 
So Zedwick, who is the creator of this creation, and good job, you did have a lot of great ideas for this, I must say. I mean, it, it does seem simple, these sorts of ideas. In fact, when I um, started reviewing it, I thought, yeah, I should, I should probably review something more uh, advanced, I guess. I should just review something more advanced today instead of this. And I was actually planning on, you know, not really doing this. But I must admit, good job on Zedwick for doing it. And also, I respect how the how Zedwick put uh, the Banshee as well, because usually how me and a lot of other people put the Banshee is we have it, like, almost hanging out, basically, where this, like, cockpit is right here. Usually where this bit is right here, uh, that's where I put the Pelican, and so usually the top of it, with, with the open hatch in it, right, it will be, like, open up and just hanging out of here, basically. But yeah, how the creator's done it, Zedwick, how he's done it, is it's a lot more smarter. And I know I keep on going on about it, but it's just something I haven't seen other creators do. And I feel like this is a good tip for most creators. You know, when, when you're doing a flyable pelican from now on, let's not do it on the top. Let's just uh, do it from here. And so then it's more realistic as well, because then it actually looks like you are, you know, like hopping into the pelican to drive it. It's honestly a really cool idea. And honestly, the creation, whilst it's simple and we've seen it done many times before, this is a great, like, um, branch off of that, I guess you could say, because not only did the creator, Zedwick, make this a flyable pelican, if he was to just do that, then it'll be the most cr basic creation of all time, right? But not only has he just made a flyable pelican like heaps of other people have, but he's also put in some passenger seats, which I think is pretty cool and original to do. I mean, a few other people have done it, but, you know, not really how, like, he's done it. And also the way he's put the Banshee as well is quite unique, and I haven't seen people do that either. So, honestly, great creation, Zedwick. You know, it's a simple concept turned into something a bit more than that, and I can respect it. So, good job, Zedwick. And anyways, guys, I hope you all did enjoy this Halo 5 Forge creation review today. If you do have anything that you guys do want to say about this creation or the video, then be sure to comment it down below. And like and subscribe for more if you did enjoy it, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.